This is for experiment number three. Number three. Uh, uh, what's the title? Optical properties correlation study in CDSC quantum blocks using density functional theory calculations. Now, some of you already know what is quantum dots. During your, I have mentioned during your class in solar cell head last semester, but you definitely you still don't know what is quantum dot. Now, now the difference in quantum dot and bulk semiconducting material. Bulk semiconductor. The difference is one is the size, but the size in micro meter range and quantum dot in one to ten nanometer range. This is very small. For example, CDSA, the one that you are trying to study in this experiment, could have bulk case and also it could have quantum dot space. The difference is the size, one is big, one is small. And quantum dots also could have many sizes, quantum dot 1 and quantum dot 2. For example, let's say quantum dot 1, the size is 10 nanometer, and we have smaller version of quantum dot 2, maybe 5 nanometer, so on and so forth. We have many varieties of uh, sizes, from big to small to the smaller version of quantum dots. Now, what else that, that will be different? Uh, the color. Quantum dots, the uh, CSC pop color is green. When it becomes smaller, then the color will change to orange and smaller it will become yellow. What else? The band gap will be changed from small to bigger and bigger band gap. What else? The energy levels. Also, will change. 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 Oh. This is, uh, I can't remember, I think I have mentioned in the, in the laboratory video. Now, these are the things that could be changed using the same material, but when the material is in bulk phase, these are the properties. When we reduce the size to quantum dot one, which the size is 10 nanometer, the properties change, and we make them even smaller, 5 nanometer, the properties also will be changed. Now, we have so many tools to characterize quantum dots. To prove this is typical example of bulk and quantum dots energy level. They have energy levels now in bulk. The energy levels are closely separated to each other, very close. There are many lines over here. First energy level, second, third, fourth, and fifth, until few thousand of energy level. They are closely separated to each other. We cannot differentiate them. And thereby, we call them as balance band, not energy level. They are band. And same goes to the protection band. The energy levels are really close to each other, and we call them as band. Now, when we reduce the size, this is big, the micrometer size bulk CDC, when we reduce the size, it becomes small in the nanometer. The energy level expands. From small here, it expands like this. Now, it expands. They are not really closely separated, they are now widely separated. Now, we don't tell, call them as band anymore. Instead, we call them as this side. The balance band, we call them as occupied molecular orbitals of O4. And this one is the highest. Which one is the highest? This is the lowest, second lowest, this is the highest. Highest occupied molecular orbitals. And this side, the conduction band, we call them as unoccupied molecular orbitals because no electrons could be exist here. Electrons are all over here. Electrons occupy this energy level, that's why the name is occupied. And this one is unoccupied because no electron exists in the ground state. Now, this is the lowest, second lowest, this is the highest. That's why this one we call it, we call it as the blue the lowest unoccupied molecular uh, This is the name. Now, as you can see that the band gap is expanding when we reduce the size. Now, this is quantum dot one. What happened to quantum dot two if we reduce the size anymore? Uh, reduce the size further. What will happen? What about the band gap? Will expand even more. That's correct. 
And how about the energy levels? The lumo and homo? Change. Also will be changed. Now, these are the things that you need to prove using DFT. Density functional theory calculations. Now, how to start your density functional theory calculations? Ah. These are the theory. All of these are theory. You need to read by your own. I couldn't uh, read for you. You need to read by your own. Theories. This is, I have simplified the theories now. Ah. What you need to do is uh, these steps. How many steps? One, two, three, four, five. Five steps. Now, the first one is geometry optimization. This is very first step. And this is the command line. Now. Kalau korang tengok dekat teori yang first ni Ok yang ni tak sama dengan yang dekat sini Ok tak sama kan So korang kena tukar supaya sama Ok first step korang pergi dekat general Korang unclick right connectivity tu So yang kat atas tu dah hilang So nak tambah yang macam dalam lab manual Korang tekan method Eh, dekat method. Dekat method. Okay, pergi kat method dulu. Lepas tu baru tak. Direct OPT yang macam dalam lab manual tu. So, dekat atas pun akan keluar juga. Okay, so now dah sama. Itu je. Terima kasih.